Hello again, it's Mr. Pete, your internet shop teacher, and I'm sitting here next to the South Bend Shaper, and the purpose of this video is to do a product review of these two magnetic base LED work lights. So let's get started, and first of all, I think I'd like to show you what I do not like. Not to be negative. A person needs a good work light on the bandsaw, so I've been using this one, but I'm not crazy about it. It's a clip-on type, and it has a little spot bulb in it, but you can burn yourself on that. It is not an LED, and I have several of these little magnets, and they can be put on any machine virtually to use this type of light. So they're kind of handy, but not all that great. Now I'm over at the Delta drill press and I have a similar one. Actually it's about identical I guess to the other one. And it does cast the light down to the work pretty well. But another one that I've bought fairly recently, I think I got it at Menards. I, I won't blind you with it, but it's an LED and it has this nightmare type of clip on it. But I've been using it for photography more than what I am for a work light. But above the Atlas lathe, I have two lights. That's an LED. And that's a regular fluorescent. The reason there's two of them is I bought an LED and I never did take the other one down. But that really casts good light when you're working on the lathe. Raise your hand if you've ever been burnt by a work light. I see every hand's going up. But this particular one, I think, was an attempt to avoid that. I don't think I ever did use this one, but it's a plastic shade. Also, for a while there, they were making like a double shade that was two layers of sheet metal. They were kind of expensive, but that would avoid the burn. Now, they were using quartz lights. I never did have a quartz light, but I think those got terribly uh, hot. This one had to be screwed into the machine, typically a lathe or... A milling machine. I should throw it away and there's a switch right on the top. Here are two nearly identical lights, magnetic base, which I do like. Now this one just has a, a regular incandescent bulb, you'll get burnt on that, but later I finally figured out when the LEDs became available to use them to avoid being burned. But these aren't exactly the same, and I'll show you why if I can. When I pull the foreskin back, you can see that this is more or less the corrugated type of uh, stem, and I do like that. I'm not sure what the sleeve is for, but this one immediately broke on me, and it is the coolant type of tubing, if I can pull that back. No, that didn't work. You see it comes apart. Everything comes apart. I hate this. <laughs> but anyway, this is the little couplings like you use uh, for coolant on the machines, but the magnetic bases are good. See, I should throw this away because that is so frustrating when that happens while you're working. Now I'm over on the other Delta drill press, variable speed, this is a 15 inch, but anyway, it has the original work light that would have come from the factory, would have been an option of course, and it is sure anemic. Maybe it's too small of a bulb. Someone told me these are highly valuable and rare, but that doesn't mean much to me when I need good light. Over here on the Craftsman Grinder, this is original equipment, and it's not too bad, although it vibrates like crazy. Well, you can imagine that, and it's very hard to get the light where you want it, and you can burn yourself, but I, I do like it, but notice it now it's unscrewing. So that leaves a lot to be desired, but it is fairly good. All right, I'm out in Studio B now, and you've all seen these. This was invented by the devil himself. They cost 59 cents at any hardware store. I think they're really meant for painting, 
and they slip all over the place and you can burn the heck out of yourself. Other than that, they're pretty good. I think I've shown this before, and actually this is meant for photography. But what I like about it is that it's adjustable in intensity. And I use it all the time in the videos, but sometimes I, I even use it as a flashlight when I'm looking around uh, in a drawer or something else, some other place here in Studio B, because it really illuminates. It's, it's far better than a lantern. But not really a work light. I just thought I'd show that to you. I think these are about 25 or 30 bucks, and they come in different sizes. This is my Duro drill press, and many of these older drill presses had a built-in work light. I know the Sears did, too. And it's between the column and the spindle here, and I'll turn it off if I can find the switch. And it is pretty good, and you can't burn yourself on it, and it casts the light right down onto the table. But you can't install one of those. Either you got it or you don't. Alright, there's a work light that came on the South Bend Shaper and you can see where it's it's fastened down there but it's just lost all its rigidity. Reminds me of of a movie with a monster. But it's pretty well useless so I will be using one of the LED lights on this machine and on the other south bend it was broken off and I had to throw it away. Part of it was missing when I picked the machine up. Alright this is the very last one and this is the south bend 10 inch lathe and I do rather like this and I put an LED bulb in there so I won't burn myself. It's unplugged right now but it's got a toggle right here. It can be swung out of the way and even brought in to where you're working. So it's pretty well placed and it's mounted right here on the headstock. It looks like heck, but believe it or not, it's pretty useful. All right, let's go back to Studio A and talk about LED lights, which is really what this video is all about. I hope I wasn't too negative on this, but I think that all of you probably have suffered with some of these inadequate lights. Okay, I'm down in Studio A now, and I acquired these specifically for using on the Shaper. They both have magnetic bases and can be moved in. I wouldn't use both of them at once. But what I like about this one is it has a switch right here. But of course I've also got it wired in to the switch over here. This one has a switch in the line, which I do not like at all. Very inconvenient. Let me take them over to the bench now and we'll talk about them individually. Okay, here they are on the bench and both of these lights came from Banggood in China. I did not pay for them, they gave them to me. I do not work for Banggood, I do not care whether you buy them from them or not. I, I will tell you this, I'm going to tell you the prices and give you the links in the description, but it will take you six weeks to get one. It just takes forever. It comes on a slow boat from China. Now let's look at them individually. Now this one is 500 millimeters in diameter and quite a nice long stem on it, longer than the other one. And you can see what it's made of, that material. And by the way, both of these do get kind of hot. I think you could burn yourself on the three LEDs, but it's just pretty darn warm here. This one has a magnetic base. Again, the switch is in line, which is not very desirable, but it does seem to stay in place and works kind of nicely. So I really do like this one. Now let's talk about the other one. This one is 400 millimeters in diameter, also with three LEDs. I love the switch right here. But the power supply is down here in the plug, which is fine. That's not a problem. Kind of a long cord. They both got nice long cords. But when I ordered this one, and I, I bought these at separate, or ordered them. I didn't pay for them at different times. But this one did not come with the magnet. 
it just came with this flange and I adapted it. I had some of these magnets left from uh, indicators. I just drilled and tapped holes and it was like this and uh, fasten it on there. But otherwise it would have to be screwed right into a machine. I want the capability of moving it from machine to machine. And this is how many watts? Uh, 3 watts. The other one is 9 watts. So they don't use much power. This one is so lightweight it really stays in place nicely. And I think this is my favorite, although it's a little bit shorter in the stem than the other one. Both good looking units. Again, I'll put the uh, link in the description. This one is about $21. This one, double that. It's $39, but there may be cheaper sources. So that's uh, my two LED work lights. Hope you liked the video. And these certainly beat those uh, bad lights that I showed you at the beginning. I hope I didn't get too negative on that, but these are just such an improvement over the old lights. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now.